Okay, uh, me and Kimberly Boucher are on the road for Ringside 12. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will be first going to my uncle, um, Alan. First, you're going to meet my Olympic weightlifting coach, Dan Robitaille. Um, which he really he's the best coach in the world for Olympic weightlifting and he made me who I am um, and he could he's the coach there that could make any athlete be on the national team in no time so uh, you'll meet Dan Robitaille in Ottawa and then we're gonna go to my uncle drop off baby Harley and then uh, we're gonna go to Montreal and have some fun and go to ringside 12 see you there see ya Okay, um, I just want to tell about the fight at the bar. It was long ago, but I remember, vaguely what I remember is that Julie has a little brother, a little also younger and shorter, and uh, some guys were picking on him. Who knows why, but they were picking on him. And then uh, the next thing I remember, there was a, some commotion going on in the hallway that leads to the men and women's washroom. And, this big guy was about six feet, feet tall. We but one guy, Julie had decked him. One guy had called the cops. He hit <laughs> unconscious. And when the cops got there, they wanted to know who the aggressor was. And when they found out it was Julie, they sort of told the guy, well, listen. So, uh, we can't arrest her or anything like that. He started laughing and walked away. So, um, I, I may be wrong on this, but I think what happened is that Julie knew that these guys were roughing up her brother in the men's washroom. So she just she just went in there and, you know, elbowed the, the other guys who were there. The guy who was hitting his brother, she just decked him. He felt like a tree trunk. Yeah, well, that's what um, Dan had, like, other athletes on our national team before. And he was, like, always saying stories on the road that, you know, he had two athletes there. They were so explosive that they... You know, they got mocked a couple of times, walked out of the car and just beat the hell out of other people and he says they were so fast and explosive, it was like, it was over in a second. Like, I mean, and he always told me that they never stopped punching, they were just and it was finished. So I did exactly what Dan said at that moment. Hey, they it look... Good? Yeah, almost. Well, is it going? It's still going now, yeah. Okay, so anyway, so I did whatever Dan said. Go ahead, tell him. Uh, what your athletes Oh, I don't want to get into that though, because they might have hurt somebody really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how they would be so explosive and strong, and you know, the sport yeah. brings a lot of explosiveness and strength. And yeah, I think in their, you know, as, as young men growing up, they had, sometimes they were cornered, some people would corner them, want to teach them a lesson, they would end the fight in about four seconds. That's what the time it takes to snatch away your rabbit. So they were used to this, get it over with right away, and then they learned, they earned the respect from it. That's, that's why I think I should do next time. I was too technical in, in Montreal, I was like, bad jab, side, 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 jab, jab, dip. And I, I think this is what I should be doing. And um, you know, there's all kinds of approach, and I think that's what I'm going to do next time. Do whatever he told me, basically. <laughs> Get it done, because you can't. Yeah.